Welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. Oh my god, look what we did. Come see how we did this. Good morning and welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. BOA! Well, today is going to be the day that we are going to rearrange this side of the room. Yay, the dinette system we're is going to go bye bye. Yep, we're going to get rid of the dinette system and hopefully put in an L shaped couch so you might see us frustrated as hell trying to get this thing together. <laughs> and finding to a place to put all this stuff. We have a lot of stuff over here. Watch me make breakfast first and then we'll get to the hard work because this is going to be a pain in my butt for the next two or three days. I'll be painting. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, welcome back. Hey. We just finished breakfast and now it's time to get down to the, tearing apart the place. Yay, it, it's kind of come a catch-all for a lot of our stuff, mostly his clothes to just hang on the couch. So we'll see what the modifications do. So don't mind the mess. Let's get started and start ripping this place apart. Yeah. All right. Well, came across a little problem here. I'm gonna show ya. The problem is these wires, they got it drilled into the wood and then coming out the floor. And then also along this going in here. So we need to remove the wires so we can remove the frame. So I'm gonna have to snip snip and mark them. Like this is red, this is black, this would be white and this would be blue for our awning controls and then this one would be brown for our under the step blue light and this would be black which goes at the bottom and then pull them through the holes and then we'll be able to get this out of here so it's time to snip some wires
I'm hot. I know. <laughs> well, we got it out, as you can see. And we're basically just gonna turn it around this way. Somewhat that way, but a little bit more against the wall. But give us kind of like an L shape uh, couch. Definitely have more space there. We'll have more room to kind of walk on in. More space. And we might also put, because the wires is in that floor right there, we're thinking we're gonna just put a little nightstand right on the edge. So I'll just build up a nightstand frame and then a top and connect the wires in there. And that way we can still have our awning controls and our light underneath the step control. And everything else will just be there. And we will still have storage space and still be able to sit comfortably in an L-shaped living room. So what do you think? How do you like that? Tell us if you did the same thing. Or what have you done for your modifications inside? To get rid of that ugly dinette set. Yeah. Time to go paint. Welcome back. Now that we got it out, I marked where I'm going to cut for the height. There and there. And where I need the width to be cut out. So, I'm going to get the saw and chop it off. Now that that's done, sand it down a bit. Hey, Jaggy. And make sure it all fits out so we can screw it in. Let's go. Okay, it is time to get the room prepped for painting. Let's take down everything. Pull off the command strips wrong. All right, perfect fit. This would be the angle of our new living room. Looks so spacious right now. It does look more roomy, baby, yes. Okay, so here we are. I am done blue taping around and putting plastic down and everything. Um, this is going to be for painting inside and look, make it look nicer. Brighten up the area, give it more color. We love the wood panel, but you do want some color over time. What I'm going to do now is sandpaper this area because it is a little rough and little pieces are still off. So after sandpapering the area and also the uh, and also the wood panel, do the fact of the material is um, you had to rough it up a little bit to help the paint and primer stay. I will start painting. So half the work is getting it all ready, and then the rest of it's easy from there. So here we go. So the first part we're going to do is a primer. Um, those at Home Depot recommended us using a primer due to the panel being so dark and we're doing such a light color. So we're going to do the primer first, see how it goes, and then after that, this is our next step with our paint. This is going to be our paint that we put on the walls after the primer. So stay tuned. Oh 
Okay, now I'm at Home Depot and I gotta get a few more pieces of wood. And I forgot my wallet in the car. I'm so used to paying everything with Apple Pay that I literally forgot that Home Depot and Lowe's don't accept Apple Pay, so that sucks. But let me go back in, grab the three pieces of board and the screws. Okay, I'm back from Home Depot and we got the wood I need. Well, let's cut them down to size. I gotta do some measurements and then after that, cut them down to what I need. the main framing that's gonna go over the wheel right there and then when she finished painting we're gonna screw that into the wall we don't need this no more yeah. great now that's done now it's project number two the end table so i gotta go do the measurements and see how this is gonna play out so let's measure it let's cut it and let's make it happen kind of made a little mistake and I didn't have enough long two inch screws so I had to go back to Home Depot to get these two inch long screws so I can get it through a one and a half inch square and to reach the other one so that's what I'm putting together right now Um, now that I have the box complete, now it's time to put the panel to cover around it. So bear with me. Now I'm going to staple it together. Oh my gosh. I thought you was recording the whole time in time lapse. But... This is gonna be our end table. 
some for it. This is gonna be the side as soon as you walk in the door. You still got the awning control, the blue light control. She is still in there painting. Um, and, and I am getting hungry and so is she. I'm gonna go pick up some food and I also need another one of these, but the bigger version because we also gotta move the wires for that uh, carbon dioxide detector and an outlet. I need to move from one side of the bench to this side of the bench. And we are gonna right here. Plug in the carbon monoxide, and then this is just gonna cover up where the other plug and everything was. So that's the update so far. Oh, Shaggy. Now you need to wait. some more work to do tomorrow but it's late what about me and it looks good though yay somebody oh, wants to get inside he's tired too so it's late we're gonna call it a night yeah bye, bye.